All right, it's Monday at 11.30. Sunday, we're not gonna talk about Sunday. We got here and that was it. We're not talking about the rest of the trip that we had here. Um, Some issues. And so now we're going to the grocery store to pick up a few things. My hair looks like trash, so wearing a hat. And then also it's raining, so we can't really go on to the beach today. I heard thunder earlier. Probably not a good idea. It'll clear up in a bit though. Look so hopefully it clears up a little bit. The house next door to us has so many plants. I think they're selling plants from their house because there's so many of them, but we're going to the store. We just stopped at a farmer's market because I saw a sign that said cold brew, so we got us some cold brew coffee. And then they also gave us a card so we can order some bags of coffee. The, the bags of coffee that we bought, that we used to buy as a subscription, they stopped selling them, so we don't have coffee anymore. And then handmade jewelry and some, what is this called, granola. Um, they had like a chocolate pretzel one and it was phenomenal. I like wanted a whole bag of it, but I didn't know how much it cost and I didn't want to ask. But then they gave us their signature kind. And then we bought our friend a ring um, because she has some pet turtles and that that's adorable. And so here it is, it's a ring with a little turtle on it. Let me see if it'll focus on it. And I just think that's adorable. So I'm excited to give it to her. I think she'll like it. That was a good idea. Very thoughtful, Mason. I have chocolate underneath my nails now because of that granola, but it was the absolute bomb. And now I want to Google it to see how much it costs. It also looks like the sky wants to clear up a little bit, which is making me very happy. It's still a little bit cloudy over there. Clouds came back out to play. It's so dark. So dark! The book. The sun has decided to make an appearance. And it's beautiful. Look over here. Wow. prime rib and filet mignon so that's what these four are and that's the prime rib and then he's making chicken for my mom he also cooked jalapeno poppers um this one has one of them has cream cheese and something else but i don't like jalapeno so i'm not eating them but he said they're really good i just ate some cheese it's i also showered as soon as we got back from the beach you can definitely see where i had my sunglasses on like look at this line right here i can't believe i let that happen i changed my nails up i look so tan this is ridiculous wow we love a tan i don't think he's supposed to cook all the chicken right now he didn't okay cool um yeah so now we're all just kind of sitting on the porch enjoying our time here every single time i leave my camera inside for an extended period of time and then bring it outside we get foggy um it felt really good earlier let's fix that let me get my shirt okay that's better it felt really good out here earlier. It's just staying and fogging up. Okay. Well, it felt really good earlier. We went to the grocery store and got some ice cream. It was fantastic. I got the store brand of Moose Tracks, my fave. It's still so foggy. My brother and dad went down to the pier to go fishing. It's like their fave thing ever. It's pretty much the only reason they would come to the beach, to be honest with you, is to go fishing. Um, I think Mason might meet them down there a little bit later, but it is literally <laughs> so humid outside right now. Okay, so it is now Wednesday. Good morning. It's not morning anymore. My mom and I just ran some errands. We went to the grocery store. There were a few things we needed to pick up. And then we went to two different stores. One was like a outfitters store. You know, those kinds of stores that sell like everything under the sun that you need for outdoors, vacation, things like that. And then we went to a tourist shop so that I could get a sweatshirt. So this is the sweatshirt I bought. It says, keep it salty, Oak Island, North Carolina, beach life. Got an extra large. Haven't taken this off yet because I wanted to try it on first. So that's what I bought there. And then at the Strand Outfitters, I got this sticker. It's Southern Fried Cotton. That's what So Free Co. stands for. It's funny because we have one of these in Greenville. But it says Bloom with Grace and I just thought it was really cute. So I grabbed that. And then they had these t-shirts for $5. So it has a bird on it. And then it has the brand name on the front is Al Agnew. But I grabbed this for Mason. I hope I got the right size. I got him a large. I hope this fits him. I thought that was nice. There's our souvenirs for the week. Things we'll wear that aren't super cheesy. And now I'm dressed for the beach. I'm going to go take some lunch and then we'll head to the beach. <laughs> Every 
day that we've been here, it's been so gross and cloudy and raining at nighttime, like when the sun is setting, and it's not right now, and I want to show it to you because it's so pretty. Blue sky. We love a blue sky. Fogging up. Okay. Obviously, here's the street. But, like, it's stunning. Look at that. The sun up behind, the clouds. Just looks amazing. It's so pretty. And then, of course, that's the ocean. A little bit behind that tree right there. We looked up this house right here and I looked at the inside of it online and it's literally so pretty. I want to see the inside of this one because it looks newly renovated, but I think it's privately owned so it's not like for rent, like weekly rent online. And then I found this one on Realtor, so I think it's privately owned as well because there's no pictures of the inside. But, ah, uh, it's just absolutely beautiful out here so I just want to keep showing it to you. opportunity for me to catch it on film. Well, Decided to come to Dairy Queen and the line is crazy long, but we're going anyway. All right, we got the goods. We have three Oreo blizzards, a vanilla milkshake, and then Mason got his hot fudge milkshake. 40 minutes because the line is so long, but worth it. The lady that served us was very nice. Happy Friday. Inside this tent, keep me all nice and, what's the word I'm looking for? From the sun? It is a little warm in here though, because the sun is like right here. So we'll see how long I stay under here, but hopefully it does a good job today. I'm reading The Woman in Cabin 10 now on my Kindle. got to where we were gonna eat dinner and they said there was a two and a half hour wait so I bought a t-shirt while we're waiting. Morning. Yep. David Merck, you're officially on Hunter Merck's blog or Hunter Freitas's blog. Here we go, we got Mason right here just chilling. He's got fresh kicks on, cool sunglasses. She can, she can edit this stuff, right? Yeah. And now it goes back my face. Hey, okay, turn around. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's still recording. Just chilling. Again, we got. And now go bring it to the day while recording. You're like, All right. We're going to get Hunter now. All right, we're going to get Hunter, but we're taking the lazy way out, the elevator. It's kind of a slow elevator, as you can see. But we're gonna make it. Come on, Mr. Elevator. It says it's coming down. We are on the elevator. That's right. Please do not use help button unless it's an emergency. Thanks. Let's smash the help button and see what happens. Nah, I'm just joking. Kind of dark in here. We on the way. Oh, it's about to break on us. Jiggling. Oh, this ain't safe. This is not safe. I'm a little nervous. Well, it looks like I am going to be mashing the emergency button for too long. Oh, man. I think we are in trouble. I think we're moving up, though. All right, we need out of here. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're back. We're turning the camera to my sister. What? Why are you here? 
We're turning the camera to Hunter. I was coming back to you, actually. It's recording. Be careful what you say. Did y'all get stuck on the elevator? We didn't get stuck, but it took quite a bit. And it was jiggling like crazy, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> oh, Monty, I was scared. I thought I was going to have a good... I did not eat first. Crab cakes. I think this is um, a sweet potato biscuit, and then potatoes. this is potatoes and green beans, and they seem to have the same thing. And the rest of the fam got some sort of fish. This is delicious. I already ate one, and then there's three of them. Here's the beautiful Dole Whip. If you've ever been to Disney World or Disneyland and had a Dole Whip, or been to the Dole Plantation in Hawaii, that's what they have you there. I used to work at a frozen yogurt store that had Dole pineapple sorbet, and I used to eat it all the time, so this stuff is the bomb. This is all that's left that's not packed. My phone charger. My Kindle. I have a sports bra to wear tomorrow so that I don't have to wear a regular bra tomorrow. My regular bra will go in my backpack. I have my shoes, my sweatshirt. Did I show you? Oh, this is the t-shirt that I bought. It is this orange and it has a little whale on it and it says Provision Co. Southport. Super cute. I have my contact case. Solution is here. This is my purse. My water bottle. And that's everything. Cleared out the closet. Mason's toiletries are still in there. Mine in the bathroom. The bed is not made. It's kind of gross right now, but whatever. There's the bed. But that's everything. We've got all our stuff in the car. They were playing cards earlier. This is where my Gory and Pa slept. And this is where they kept all their storage and stuff. My brother was gonna sleep here, but he said the bed was too hard, so he slept on the couch. There's also this top bunk. Yeah, just feeling it. It feels pretty um, pretty hard. But this room was meant to sleep three, and Papa was the only one that slept in here. Nice little thing there. I didn't show you that room, but... Hey, look, there's Mason. See my dog tomorrow. Sorry the TV didn't work out for you. 